Um, just in the last couple of weeks, um, my agent had obviously spoken to the manager here, and um, he, you know, I'd previously been told that I could I could leave Ross County if I if I found a club, and luckily enough for me, um, the manager here came calling, and um, you know, it was something that interested me straight away. It was a bit of a whirlwind as well this morning. You were going to Ross County training ground this morning. Yeah, um, like I say, it was initially it wasn't going to be done before the weekend, um, but then I think the manager here expressed an interest in getting me in um, for the game tomorrow. So um, driving in there at nine o'clock this morning, got a phone call to say collect your things, sign your release, and then come straight down to, to Perth. So that's what I did. So pretty much be on the road this from about eight o'clock this morning. I think if you look at the past seasons, obviously you know the cup wins massive, but I think they're just always in around the top six. Um, you know, one of the most consistent teams in the league. Um, so in that respect, it's coming to a team that are kind of. You know, like I say, always a top six team. Um, we've got a good squad here. I know, I know some of the boys from played with them. I know some of them, or most of them, from having played against them. And, and St Johnson seemed to be the benchmark for any of the, the other teams looking at. You know, what can we do this season? It's always St Johnson trying to kind of do what they do because they're always there, thereabouts, at the end of the season. And you've played against St Johnston a number of times in your career. Have you seen that real progression um, from a few years ago to where the team is just now? Yeah, certainly. Um, I think you know St Johnston have always been well organised and, and worked very hard. Um, but you know they've also got uh, now players that score goals, um, create goals. Um, and I think you know last season especially we, we found it very tough every time we played against St Johnston, and you always came off after ninety minutes um, knowing that you'd been in a right good game. Um, so you know, I'm just happy to kind of be here and, and be part of that and be part of that kind of team spirit that they clearly have. Um, I think just you know, if you speak to him and he comes, he's very composed and you know very positive. Um, he just manages, he seems to get the best out of his players. I think you know that, that whatever level he picks, you know they're that, that at least seven, eight out of ten every week. And I think to, to get that consistency, you know, from your players, it has to uh, has a lot to do with the manager um, and. He, He's obviously found a way to do that. He's got a good, good balance of, of players here, um, in regards to experience and, and, yeah, I think he just he obviously seems to be able to get the best out of the players. Finally, what's your thoughts going into tomorrow's game at home to Celtic? And obviously, you're hope, hopefully wanting to feature in that match as well. Yeah, of course. You know, it's a bit of a baptism of fire, but um, you know, these are the games that you, as a football player, you want to play in. Um, for us tomorrow, there's no no real pressure. All the eyes will be on Celtic and how they've how they are doing, um, especially the way they've started. They've started very well, but it's always a tough game against against the old firm. Uh, tomorrow will be no different. But it's like I say, it's these are the games that you want to play in.